What is JSON API? Well, JSON API is a specification that pretty much defines two things. How the client can ask for a resource to be fetched or modified and how the server should respond to such requests. Well, okay, but what does it really mean? Well, let's just jump right into examples. Let's see fetching a resource. So let's say we have a list of articles that we want to get. So we just send a get request for articles and we see that this is the response. We see that the type is, uh, is articles. That's the type of our resource. We, we have its ID and we also have the attributes title, body, and created a timestamp. Now let's take a look at this relationships field here. It specifies that articles is tied to author. And what is author? Well, author is just of type people. And we get the ID of the specific author that created this article. Okay, but now let's say I wanted to also know the name of the author. Doesn't mean that I have to send a separate request for the author just to get their name. Well, no, that's the power of JSON API. Because if I only add this query param called in include equals author, I'll see that in my response, there is a new field called included. And this field has the author's name, age, and gender. So I don't have to set, send a separate response uh, request. Now, doesn't mean that every single time I want to get more information about the name, I also have, ha have to get its age and gender fields I don't really care about. No, because I can also specify which exact fields can I get from my author. So if I just add this param here, fields people equals name, you'll see in my response that I only got the author's name. Let's also take a look at creating a new resource. So if I wanted to create a new article, all I have to do here is just send this body for uh, post slash articles. I have to specify the type of my new resource or ar articles and the attributes title, does Jack Sparrow need a rehab and the body, the answer is obvious if you watch the movies. And I also have to include the author. So I specify the relationships author and I provide the type, which is people and the ID of the author. And in response, I get my newly created resource, which is articles. I get its database ID, which is two. I get the attributes that I provide and I get the link to it. So now I know where can I find my newly created resource. Well, what about updating a new uh, a resource? Because I obviously made a mistake. I have to name the article, does Captain Jack Sparrow need a rehab? Again, all I have to do is just send a patch request with type, ID, and what exactly I wanna change. And after I successfully send this request, and then I just wanna verify that everything went okay, and I send a get for my article, uh, I'll, I'll see that the title is changed. Does Captain Jack Sparrow need a rehab? Now, what if I wanted to delete that article? All I have to do here is just send a delete for my article. And I don't even have to send any additional body. So this was the basic overview of JSON API. Uh, leave a like if you like this video and also check out the description for uh, more. I will leave uh, like link to the official documentation as well as other videos that will definitely will that will be helpful to you. So uh, yeah, thanks.